In the last video, we showed that hood with the restrain condition note, and I wanted to go into more detail on how that works. Our Y14-5 standard does have a default that all dimensions and tolerances apply in the free state condition with no restraint, no outside forces applied. Now, if you want an outside force to be applied during measurement, you have to add that restrain note. Now, don't get those two words mixed up, restrained and constrained. Constrained is just eliminating the six degrees of freedom. Restrained is going beyond that and applying an outside force. So it does make sense to apply a magnitude of restraint onto a part when you want it restrained. Other parameters they recommend is to show the location, direction, and sequence of those restraints as well. There are a couple of defaults that the new standard has now set for restraint condition. And A is going to be when datum targets are specified. The restraint load shall be applied over each datum target normal to the surface and at the location, same size and shape as the datum target, unless you say otherwise. B states that when the entire surface is the datum feature, the restraint load shall be applied over the entire datum feature. Now, if you want something different than these, then you would add that in the note as well. And you can get very exotic with the notes of the restraint load, where you want it restrained, and the sequence of the restraint if there's multiple restraints going on. So let's look at an example. So here we have a flexible part, very thin walled here, 36 thousandths thick here, and the part is 70 inches long. So very long part, and it's going to be very thin walled. So it's going to be very flexible when you try to put it on the table like a bowl of jelly here. So we have a note that says, unless otherwise specified, all dimensions and tolerances apply in the restrained condition. So then the following note states how you want it to be restrained. Mount the part on datum feature A using 24 half 13 UNC bolts torqued to 120 inch pounds while restraining datum feature B at a specified limit. So you can see how exotic you can get with these notes and even go into more detail on this if you need to. So now everything on this part will be measured in the restrained condition. So A needs to be flat in the restrained condition. The size for B is in the restrained condition. And this circularity, ooh, has a free state modifier. So the free state modifier is bringing you back to the original default of free state. So our default is free state, but then when you put the note on, it locks everything down. But then you might want to unlock a few things here. So we want to make sure when you initially bring the part to the inspection, when we put it down, it can't be too oval, because now it's taking too much force to bring it back to shape. So we have a circularity requirement of 180 thou in the free state. Now it must meet the size talents of plus or minus 20 in the restrained, flatness of 40 in the restrained, and these profile talents in the restrained condition. So this is how we handle a restrained condition, and then we can unlock a few things with these free state modifiers. Also in these parts, we can show this direction of gravity on a lot of automotive components. If you mount a hood like this or mount a hood like this, it'll give you different answers. So gravity can also be indicated on that drawing as well. Well, hopefully that helps with some of those non-rigid parts. Those can be tricky to measure.